Hey guys, it's Chase, and um, we did it. We did the A through Z movie challenge. Uh, it was really, really fun. I plan on doing uh, more challenges. Like, I have planned themed weeks and stuff like that I want to do. Uh, but this video is going to be uh, my favorite five. My favorite five movies that I watched um, out of all the whole month of movies. And uh, just ones that not necessarily are my complete favorite movies but just one uh, through the list but just ones that I enjoyed watching them again like I watched them and it was just nice to watch them over so no particular order but just to get it started um, first one is X-Men First Class you know you can't go wrong with a good X-Men movie and this one was really great Michael Fassbender um, and all those guys did really really great um, you know not much to say about this one but you know it is really good I did enjoy it and one a good one to rewatch again. So do everyone go check this one out again if you haven't seen it or if you haven't seen it in a while, do check it out. And it's a good fun movie. Uh, the next one is P.S. I Love You with uh, Hilary Swank and Gerard Butler. Um, if you haven't seen this movie, it is about basically this uh, couple, this uh, husband and wife, um, and uh, Hilary Swank's uh, plays you know the wife and Gerard Butler's the husband, and he ends up dying. And basically, uh, before he died, he left um, kind of just these letters around for her to get throughout um, this every now and then throughout the movie and um, tell her to go out and do different things and stuff. It's a, you know, not the happiest movie in the world, but I think the acting was great. Hilary Swank did great. Gerard Butler did great, even though he's not in it a whole lot. Um, it is really good to see. And it's, you know, one that I hadn't seen in a while. So watching it again was really nice. So um, if you haven't seen it, do check it out. But uh, P.S. I love you. Uh, the next one is one I uh, talk about a lot. If you if you follow my uh, Facebook page, um, the Down Movies Facebook page, you will see that I have talked about this movie a couple times. But it is uh, Hollywood Land with uh, Ben Affleck, Adrian Brody, and Diane Lane. And um, it's basically about the TV Superman um, played by Ben Affleck. It was uh, George Reeves. Um, this one is really good because it's one of those good mystery kind of movies you know Adrian Brody plays a private investigator and basically he um, the whole movie is trying to figure out what happened to Ben Affleck's character um, and there was you know three possible ways where he's either murdered he killed himself or someone else killed him so like you know his, it was either his wife uh, the Diane Lane's husband or he killed himself and I think this is one of the movies that Ben Affleck really got me to be a fan of his because I think his acting was really great and I think he was able to show that he can do more uh, dramatic roles, you know, I think because like uh, before this he was doing more comedic kind of things and he helped out uh, Kevin Smith in a lot of movies. So, you know, it's a good one to watch. Um, and the next one is um, Dan in Real Life, uh, Steve Carell. Um, this is one that I think doesn't get a lot of love as it should. Um, because, you know, uh, basically, or if you haven't seen it, basically it's about, um, Steve Carell is going to a kind of family get together and he, um, is there seeing his family and stuff like that. And, um, while he's there, he ends up meeting this girl in a bookstore and really liking her and all that stuff. And he finds out that it's, uh, his brother's, uh, girlfriend. And so the whole movie is him just like freaking out because he really likes, his brother's girlfriend so it's just this awkward thing and uh but i think it's one that had a lot of good comedy in it had you know good dramatic moments and the acting was really good and it's another one with dan cook in it that um i think he did really well there's only a few of his where i think he does really well in them and this one was one that he did really well in uh so if you haven't seen that one dan in real life um and the last one of my favorite five of my month-long a through z challenge is 500 days of summer um another one that is funny has a lot of good moments but also kind of depressing because it's just basically you know 500 days that he's with since he met summer and the end of the relationship so it's kind of depressing but it is really good too joseph gordon levitt does really well his jokes in it are pretty damn funny and his old dance sequence is really good and zoe de chanel does really good at playing this kind of character where she has just like no emotion you know she kind of has emotion and then it just goes away for some reason because she's like the same way in yes man too so um, but that is it, and I'm sorry I kind of dragged on, but, uh, it was a really good challenge. I had really a lot of fun, and, um, let me know some of your favorite movies, some, you know, some of your A through Z movies, 
And the next video I post, guys, will be uh, more contest details of my 150 subscribers. Um, I do appreciate everybody who has been helping me out. Uh, do like this video, please, and do subscribe if you're new, and spread the word. And we'll see you guys for the next video, okay? Thank you very much.